or at 215 pounds, and there's a face and a body that's very familiar to wrestlers in Ohio and the fans of Ohio wrestling. Matt Coase, the haircut's a little different, shaved his head, three-time state champ, the only one Ohio's ever had at 215 pounds, 159 and eight record over his course of his four-year career. And he'll be wrestling Chad Espinoza from Nevada. Espinoza, three-time state champion in Nevada. So, Coe's from Ohio here. Have you been keeping track, Brian, tonight? How many Ohioans have been, have received the title so far? Four so far, and this is their last opportunity here to make it five. Espinoza beat Villers, who was ranked number one in the country in the semifinals after having lost to him at the Reno tournament. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with Espinosa in that top position. He is a brute. Well, and as you said last night, Villers chose the bottom position in the third period, wasn't it? And he ended up uh, Chose it in the second period. Got the rid second? Of the okay. Espinosa didn't score, but he just rode him like crazy, and Villers was, had nothing left for the third period and eventually ended up getting pinned. Though he came back very strongly today with huge victories to finish third. He beat Coase twice this year, but that was a situation Coase with a kind of a walking pneumonia Nice high crotch. Was not quite down. in the same situation. Espinosa hips over here, trying to score the two. And he does. He got it. 101 on the clock as they go back to the center. 2-0 lead for the wrestler from Nevada. Big commitment for Espinosa to go in on that high crotch against Cause's big, powerful hips, but he, he ended up converting. Looked for a while like Cause was going to get the go-behind, but Espinosa recovered position and was able to follow up and finish. Well, I noticed that Espinosa now has his name tattooed across his back there. I don't think I've seen that in the past. I've seen jerseys with names on the back. This is the first time I've seen a back with the name on the back. I don't recommend you young wrestlers try that at home. Don't do that. Hey, Espinosa let Cuz out pretty easy. It was just considering we were just talking about him riding and riding Villers. I was surprised. Cuz, though, very, very difficult to ride. Less than 30 seconds to go in your opening period. These two wrestlers with six state championships between them. He will be going to Minnesota as well. He will be a 197. I think Kish has looked his pencil in at 184. Sounds like he got that right. They've recruited a heavyweight to fill for Lowney. Nice, same move. That's the same high crotch, same crackdown, same change off to a, to a double around the back. My. It's not real pretty technique. But at that weight class, I mean, that's rare that a guy will take a commitment to his knees like that. And we'll head to the second period at 4-1. Coase is hipping in, but Espinosa sucking it in, recovered position. Coase is actually, is Coase? Is actually cracking him, putting himself in that crackdown situation mistakenly. He looked pretty agile. Coase is used to scooting, pretty agile big guy. Nice snap down. It's interesting that uh, in the Villers match, Villers took Espinosa down and put him on his back immediately to have that quick 4-0 lead, never scored again. Now, Espinosa, I, I don't believe com committed any certain school at this point, is he? And as far as I know, he has not. Yeah, Nevada is not a very highly recruited state. This will definitely coat. I like those snap downs. That's great. Here he should snap and spin. Front headlock spin behind. He's got to extend him. Oh, he's rushing. He's got to pull him down. He's got to extend him. He's got to get him to his knees, get weight on the hands. Tries to throw him by, unable to do so, and Espinosa squares off. A little bit sloppy there. Needed to score on that convert. He is doing great snapping, though. Oh, nice duck. Nice duck, but no change will be neutral with 106 to go in the second. Yep, you're talking about Espinosa and whether he's committed to a college, and this will open some eyes. And you know, certainly a 215 from Nevada is not going to be highly recruited, but now that he's done well here, and he's got the frame to be a heavyweight. I mean, he's, he, he's, he's a big kid. He's but build about like Tommy Rollins was at this age, although not as cut up and certainly not as agile as Tommy Rollins, but similar frame. Well, he gives up the two here, does Espinosa. We only lead by a point now. It's four to three. Yeah. Now, let's remember, Coase is in close matches often. He gets tough competition frequently with St. Ed's schedule. He's used to close matches. I'll bet you Chad Espinosa has dominated 95% or more of his matches in Nevada and the surrounding states. 
And the escape has made it 5-3 with less than 25 seconds to go. We're talking about Espinoza and going to college. He's got something else in his hip pocket, and that's a 3.95 grade point average. Good for him. He'll probably get a lot of eyes opening. You know, he is from Reno, Nevada, and he has wrestled in the, the Reno Tournament of Champions. And, and he's a two-time Reno champ. Uh, aside from that, he probably doesn't see a lot of stiff competition in Nevada. But obviously, if he's run one Reno twice, he's the real deal. When is a sophomore and junior, which is really impressive. Was he defeated this year at Yeah, Villers beat him 1-0. All right, as time runs down, we'll move to the third, a two-point match. Now it's 6-3, and Coase will need two takedowns or takedown and back points here. Yeah, he'd have to break him. I mean, he'd have to wear him down. That's what he needs to do right there about ten times. If I was Coach Hefferman, I would be telling him to bang on that head and get him under. Espinoza on a shot from across the body. Cross shot of sorts, and Coe's able to fight it off with 1.30 to go. Needs two scores or a takedown with near fall. Brian, you've seen Espinoza, you've seen Coe's a lot. What offense does he show? What's, is that his move right there, the high crotch? That's it. That, that, we got it. Nice technique. That's the way it's supposed <laughs> to be done. Beautiful. And that makes it 6-5. You saw it right there. That's his move. Textbook inside step, high crotch. Follow it up. Oh, here we go on in slow-mo. He's doubling off, driving, and finishing. What we missed there was the lift, though. The lift was very impressive. The penetration, lift, drive, and finish. These guys can wrestle. We've got Seven, a whole five minute now. to go. A minute to go. Coase has plenty of time here. All right, so Coase has the high crotch to the right leg. Espinoza has the high crotch to the left leg. Let's see if either one of them get in and finish. 45 seconds left. Coase looks like he's catching his breath. He needs to beat the head a little bit and get one more of those high crotches. There we go. Now he's in the crackdown situation. Let's see what Espinoza shows defensively here. All right. Now, interesting here, he's got the time match with 30 seconds to go. Does he try to turn him and ride him, or does he kick him right now? No, you don't kick him. You don't kick him at this point. You got to try to ride. You got to try to ride. Let's see what Espinosa shows on bottom. He showed a nice sit out there. Gonna he's be coming tough. with a stand up. Now, Coase is stalling on the single leg, which he should be doing in this position. He's going to hang. He's going to get banged for stalling, probably. He can take a stalling warning here. Sure, he can take it. He's, that's good strategy in this situation. And the referee should call it. And it looks like we're going to head to overtime. First one of the night. I really thought he might be in trouble with 30 seconds to go. Happened to ride him out, but Kenny was able to do it. The Ohio wrestler stepped into the plate with the ride out. 30 second ride out. He rode him to set it headed into sudden death. Espinosa looks tired. Well, the last two shots have been Coe's. They've been beautiful high crotches. He needs one more to secure a national title. Oh, bad shot. You called it, Brian. That was a stupid shot. That's what you do when you're tired. Good recovery back to his feet, but he does look tired, Ken. Yep, he needs to get, gain his composure. He needs to move his feet. Oh, there it is. He's scooting. He's, he's got to get his leg back here. Coase is powerful. Oh, he sat him on, on his, his butt. That's good for Coase. Coase needs to get to a double with his right arm. Plenty of time. Espinosa's wrestling hard. I think they're going to end up out of bounds. Wow, I don't know what how Espinosa recovered. Great wrestling. Coe's had him crack down. He needed to convert to a double. He's not used to being in that crackdown situation a lot. Who called the injury time, guys? Es or, I'm sorry, Coe's asked for the injury time. Coe's cracks him, trying to crack him down. Right here, he needed to change to a double. He's, he was content there. He needed Waited to step across here. He needed to get his hips across to the far side. He stopped there. A couple different options there he could have used. 21 seconds to go in the sudden victory, first period of overtime. And we had a close one by Coase, but going to be tough to score now with not much time to go. Yep, neither one looks like they're going to take a risk here. They're going to send it to double overtime. Espinosa is going to have the choice piece. He scored first. It'll be an interesting strategy to see if he chooses top, what he's, which he's good at, or bottom, which he's shown the ability to get away as well. He looks to the corner. Coach is saying, do what you want. He takes up. Took top. Crowd surprised, but they have not seen him ride. They, they didn't see him ride Villers yesterday like we did. It'll be interesting to see 
Coes is explosive. Let's see if Coes could explode to his feet. And let's check the stalling sheet. We are clean, are we not? We are. No stalling calls. Oh, oh, he's he's got to get a, he's got to get a leg. Twenty-one seconds and stalemate. Freddie put stalemate is the call with twenty-one to go. I'll tell you, Coes prides himself on the fact that nobody can ride him. Now, of course, thirty seconds isn't. 21 at this point. Coase is a tank. Espinosa is going to drop back down on a leg. Oh! And he, <laughs> and he proved us right, Brian. Nobody can ride him. He bullied his way right out of there. And the Ohio fans are excited and going crazy. Great match, a great comeback. Indeed. A hand for both of these men. A terrific match at 215. They went after it. An 8-7 final in the tiebreaker. National champion at 215. You know, looking the paper like Coase. it looked in the paper like Coase had the choice, but he did not. There it is. He just bullies himself out of there, runs away. Espinosa was unable to get hold of a single. And what an exciting moment for St. Edwards with that Coase. Terrific match.